Okay, let's go, Susan. We have to go up there. I was vacuuming this time. I think you turned the vacuum on. All right. Don't be scary at yourself. Okay, so. Here he is. Oh, we lost him. We lost you. You were taking so long. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for showing up. This is meeting is being recorded. It is also, I need to let you know that there's a uh, microphones right above you. So when you break out into your workouts, uh, your little, your little breakout little rooms, I want you to know if here's everything. So it's really fun. I listened to the audio from the last week and it was a blast because I could hear you guys just laughing and having the greatest conversations and you're mixing over each other and it was fun. So I'm going to leave it in like that because it really made it neat, but if you say something, just be careful. It picks up everything. In there. It doesn't the camera isn't so great and visual, but it, the, the audio is amazing. After this, hopefully we're going to go eat. I know you guys like that. So probably we're going to go to my favorite place, which is where we went last week, right? Taco Bell. No. <laughs> I like okay, it. I, mean, I do it every day. Davis. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, so the next class, I have picked out the assignment we're going to have for next class, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. The purpose of this workshop is, and I've already, you guys already know all this, but I, and I've already been telling Darren that we're trying to do uh, more of a hands-on kind of uh, workshops instead of less me lecturing or other people lecturing to you. And so the idea, one of the focuses we're having this year is it's pre-bunking and debunking. That's the phrases that are, that are popular right now. Pre-bunking, which is like vaccinating people with, with giving them a little bit of information so that whenever they encounter some kind of strange thing, they're able to better have some kind of like, that sounds weird, or that's like a red flag, because some of the things we might encounter, we've never encountered before. I mean, like last week, you guys never would have heard of hair dryers and UFOs. I mean, no way, that, that was never something that was going to go. So as you do know, I've never done the, this lecture before. I've made this all up. And so I'm using you guys as a friendly audience to be able to prepare for this so that people can go to these in other locations and Jay will be able to take it up to the Bay Area skeptics. So the goal is, and I came up with this idea and uh, kind of from Brian Dunning from Skeptoid Podcast, and it seems like everybody likes it. I was talking to Eric at the Center for Inquiry in New York. I uh, meet with him every week and he loved this. And that was his spray. Become the person people come to when they have questions about weird things. And that's kind of our goal. You want, we do not know if the people that we're going to encounter are going to be come, having some kind of dangerous ideas or just kind of gateway ideas, you know, that are kind of sort of a problem. And then they just kind of evolve into something bigger, like what happened with QAnon um, and um, or anti-vaccine. So what we, we have this idea that maybe people will will not feel so threatened. If you go to somebody and you say, you're an idiot. What an idiot. How could you be such an idiot, Jay? I mean, Jay's not likely to come back to me again when he has another idea about something that's strange. But if I have approached him in a way that's civil, uh, that uh, we come up with some kind of common dialogue, or I kind of make it sound like Jay figured it out. Jay doesn't believe that stuff anymore because he figured it out. He went and figured it out on his own. He's not stupid. He's not going to fall for this kind of stuff. And if he's able to save face, then more likely he's going to come to me with this other idea that something else will approach. Like he'll say, you know, I heard this thing. What was the thing that you saw a video, Mark, just a couple of days ago? Some video, this, you, you said it's very persuasive about vaccines. Oh, the uh, people are dying in huge mysterious numbers in Germany. From the vaccine. Well, they didn't say that, but they said they're looking into it. Right. So, you, but you said the video that you watched was extremely persuasive. Mm -hmm. Yep. High end production. They look really worried. They were good actors. There <laughs> <laughs> are people who look good at being worried. I, I believe they were worried. They, were <laughs> they probably were worried. So when you have somebody who's who saw a video like that that appeared on their stream and they say, "Wow, that is that looks really that looks scary." People in Germany, far enough away that we can't really check it, I guess. 
um, are dying from who knows what, Bigfoot, pyramids, who knows, uh, vaccines, I don't know. So they'll more likely to come to you and say, hey, check this out. I saw this really cool video. It looks really great. But what do you think of that? And Mark will be able to have a respectful conversation with the person. And hopefully, they can have a great conversation about it. So the number one rule, remember we decided, is are they in immediate danger? Is this something that is going to be like, I have to intervene at this moment right now. I don't get to go and do any kind of like, oh, well, I don't know about that kind of stuff. No, immediate danger, which are, give me some ideas. What are immediate danger items? Yes, Deborah. I watched this thing and now I'm convinced that I can fly and I'm going to go jump off my roof and check that out. That would be what a good example of maybe I should intervene right this moment. Because if you think you can fly, probably we should do something else. Anybody else have another going? Yes, Jay. Um, I would, uh, I'm thinking about getting the psychic surgery instead of getting real surgery because I've heard it, uh, it's a lot faster and it works better. <laughs> that is a thing, right? Yeah. Psychic surgery. It, even though that is immediate, I would say that might be not quite so immediate because they still got to go to the Philippines to get it done. So but I think got a little time. There's a lot of healthcare stuff. They don't have to go to the Philippines. There are people that do it here. Or couldn't they do it over Zoom? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am going to drink this bleach smoothie yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to take care of the new strain of COVID. There you go. go. I thought that was a real. Okay. And then the last, the second rule is how much time do you have? Because conceivably, we do not always have an immense amount of time with the person we're dealing with. There might be somebody you, you've met for a few minutes and you've got like, three minutes to give them your pitch and you're out of here. Or it may be a coworker that you're gonna see every day and then you'll be able to have a different kind of experience with them. So can you put that on an airplane with them for a few hours? Yeah, if you're on the airplane with them, yeah. I, I know I'm gonna be sitting, the flight is two hours. And they saw my shirt says, and they said, what's that say? And I said, says, I am a skeptic. And they said, oh, what is, what is that? Are you skeptical of vaccines? Because I am and you're like, you know, so you have you have a chance to have a conversation with them. It's different if you know you're sitting next to them for an hour or five hours or whatever. You're going to New Zealand and you're on there for hours and hours and hours and hours. Or if it's just like I'm flying to LA and I, you know I've got 45 minutes with this person. Okay, so last week we had some great discussions, and I want to know if anybody had any was able to use their practical advice of do's and don'ts. Right. So tell me what you guys did. Did you have any conversations with anybody where you were practiced not rolling your eyes and practiced <laughs> not sighing? That's Remember all the don'ts? That's impossible. Did anybody have any interactions with anybody? That did you have any? Did you meet human beings at all this last <laughs> week? I was working really? from home almost all week because of the stupid evacuation. <laughs> She's ready to evacuate. So nobody had any kind of interaction with anybody. Okay. I just remembered my my experience with my two friends when they told me that the Earth was six thousand years old, and I I must confess that I re reacted in a dumbfounded manner. Did your jaw drop? Huh? Did your jaw drop? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't attack them. I just, do you believe that? Wow. Wow. It's just the first yeah, time they told you. I, I, I haven't talked to them since. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you're learning more lessons on how to have conversations with people, maybe you should practice and we'll be able to have some great interactions. Okay, so I've had one. So some of you may know that we just lost uh, Harriet Hall, yeah. a good friend of mine. Uh, she was the skept doc in, um, in our community. She's written for a lot of these magazines, an amazing human being. I'm going to be writing her obituary for, for Skeptical Inquirer, and it's all sitting on my computer screens right now, all the articles I've been doing research. I haven't posted on Facebook or anything like that about it because I'm trying to really focus on getting this article written. But one of the things I noticed is other people are posting um, their um, remembrances of her, and they're saying, you know, oh my gosh, Harry Hall's died, how awful. Well, what happened is her husband, <laughs> when her husband notified the community that she had died, he used the phrase, she she died suddenly in her sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are keywords right now. Right now, the anti-vax community is seizing on anything like that as a death from vaccine. It's a huge thing. And they're calling it 
the clot, the clot shot. And so on Twitter, you know, everybody loves how, how nice and friendly Twitter is, right? So I saw a lot of different people who were friends and colleagues of Harriet Hall, and she's a doctor, so she's got a lot of friends that are also MDs. And they're saying, you know, I remember attending her lecture, and I remember her telling me this thing. And people are coming into the Twitter screen and going, oh, well, let's just tell the truth. It's the clot, <clears throat> clot uh, shot, and she died because of that, right? So let's just tell the world. And it's like, people are grieving here, people, you know? Don't enter into our private space and start talking about Mark's got the space like what? <laughs> so it is. It's been happening the last couple of days. This is what we're, I was just talking about. Yeah, it's a, it's a phenomenon. I mean, it's been going on for a while, but right in the last few weeks, it's become even yeah. more strong. How come because we don't hear about it on the news? Because it isn't a thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> because they're repressing it, Mark. Don't you know the liberal news, the fake media, the thing, media. Okay. The thing they just, don't I, want you to I, know. You're, Kind of getting off on a little tangent. Okay, so my tangent. Thank you for bringing me back to my tangent. <laughs> so my tangent is is that my I God. have tried to be kinder based on the because I'm learning as you guys are learning on these workshops. Okay, so so there was a person who uh, said something about Harry Hall, and somebody else came in and said, you know, I'm just trying to let everybody know. Uh, they linked to some video of some anti-vaxer, and um, I want everybody to know that she probably died with vaccine. And I and I saw that tweet and I and I have been trying to do my best. I want you guys to know I was saying things like I didn't say like you troll, you know, blah, 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 you're blocked. I didn't do that. I said, why would you come into a private space where people are grieving and about somebody and bring this up? So what I was doing is I wasn't attacking their argument because I thought that's not going to go anywhere but I was attacking their humanity. And what I said to them is I played really stupid. And I said, are you, wait, is this one of these troll things? I mean, are you one of those people that are, are you real? Are you a bot? Are you AI? Are you a human? Because how could you say something like that into a room to a, a thread of people who are grieving about somebody that we loved, we miss? And why did you say that? Because I was trying to do an example for this week. No, but what was what was your goal in saying? Is to be able to have more of a conversation and try to get to the humanity of the person, if they're real. And, and try to have them say, yeah, you're probably right. This is probably interfering in an area that is not my business, right? And the person's responsible. This is social media. So I haven't really responded, but I was trying to be civil and trying to be like, um, I'm... I'm assuming that you're a good person. That's kind of how I'm saying it. I'm like, I understand you feel passionate about this thing, but I think you're probably a good person at heart and you probably are well-meaning and don't realize the pain you're causing. Sorry. So that's where I was. Okay, so let's go over to the, so I did use my exercises. You guys have some interactions. Today, we're going to do something really interesting. This is the Mandela effect. Does anybody know what the Mandela effect is besides Jay? Jay. Well, I read the articles that you, you did? gave the links to. Oh, I, did, right. I didn't understand the one about, uh, I didn't understand one of them, but I read it. Oh, the quantum one? Uh, yes. I, I didn't need read to read that, that a few more times. <laughs> there, were, there were a lot of terms I didn't understand. Yes. It said, if you want to learn the science better, read this one. So I'm like, I'm yes. not a scientist. No, I read it. I, Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna do an exercise, and I'm gonna, if, if all else, if all goes well, I, maybe I'll be able to do this. Or if not, I'm gonna have. Uh, <laughs> I want to go and screen share, and I know how to screen share. I'm, I I can do this, but um, how do I get to? Oops, I don't want Edge. Who uses Edge? The green, use edge? The green box in the middle. Too. Well, I'm not. Am I on that screen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can see. Me? Yeah. No, this is me. Oh, oh, that's Karen. Okay, okay. Karen. <laughs> there's Edge. Okay, can you go to, can you see that desktop? Um, I cannot. So are there slides? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, how about if you went right here? Would that pull up my slides that I have? Well, but this is where, your Where computer. are your slides? I put them on, I put them Get on. Get them on a USB stick? Yeah, I put them on a USB stick. Okay, where and is that computer? I opened it up in Let's that wall unit. Is there a USB on that? Um, 
Not, not on the keyboard. Who's on first? My keyboard. No, but there's not. That, that computer exists somewhere. You need to plug that in. Let's see if there's a USB. Is your presentation also in the cloud? I was about to put it in the cloud and I, and I didn't because it's very simple. Because if it doesn't work, I can read it to you. There is no USB port here. What I was going to say is. No, we'll just read it. We'll, we're do what you need. We can do this. But let me pull them up on my screen so that I have them here at least so I can see them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an exercise. Before we get to anything else, we're going to do a small exercise. I'm going to read a series of words to you, and they're not the ones that were on the, 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 um, if you did the reading like Karen, Karen's a good student. If you read the, <laughs> if you have, yeah, this is going to show you. Okay, so I'm going to read a series of words to, to you, and they're not hard words, and not anything that you haven't heard before. Pay attention, there's about nine or 10 of them. Maybe a little more than that. Okay, here we go. You all sitting down? Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's the words. Do not write them down. No, don't write them down. Ah, it tastes so good. You're just going to take that. Here's the no, that's, I caught that. I just read okay. <laughs> Table. Sit. Legs. Desk. Seat. Couch. Recliner. Sofa. Wood, cushion, swivel, stool, sitting, rocking, and bench. And that's it. So what I'm going to do is I have some paper for you. And you're going to write down what you can remember. And if you need a pen, I have pens right here. Would you be the good student and pass them out? Or... Can you say the words again? I've already forgotten them. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. To yeah, you got to remember them. That's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It'll, It'll be remember. echoing in your mind. <laughs> I have it. You want this one? No. Your ability to continue driving or manage your own chairs will not <laughs> be reliant <laughs> on how many of the words you remember. Okay, so... It's not that important as you're writing on the United. It's the only thing you're going to have to write. So I want you to write down what you remember. Who does not have a piece of paper? Do you, do you want that? Do you want the paper? No, I don't. You don't need it. Can I have the paper? Yes, sure. Of course you can. Here, Miss Kim. Man, person, camera. <laughs> <laughs> Pen doesn't have Oh, you want ink in the pen? Oh, I got it. Okay. So write down as many words as you possibly can remember. Nobody's going to be judged on this. We're not going to make you stand in the corner and put your nose in the corner or anything like that. Yeah. Is there really? Karen brought some cookies. Karen's a yes. Look, there's chocolate. Maybe That's the best part of it. It's now 10 minutes after you gave us the words. <laughs> <laughs> the idea was to distract you with something else. I was going to set an alarm so that it would freak you out and then you would go, what? Okay, start, start winding it up. Let me see how many there were. Okay, there was six, there was 15. Okay, so I'm going to give you six words, and I want to know if any of these words were on your list. Nose. It, raise your hand if the nose is on your list. Bench. Okay. Sit. Chair, door, shade. Shade? <laughs> no. Okay. Very good. So the the ones that were okay, so so the word that we were looking to see, so nose was not on there. Bench was on there. 
um, back up here, stool, cushion, wood, sofa, recliner. The word that was not on here that more than half of you said was on here chair. is chair. Oh. The chair was not on your list. Yeah. But because a lot of the words had something to do with a chair, your brain, which is this powerful, amazing computer that we all have in our heads, most of it, uh, what it did is it made you see the word chair. It made you remember the word chair. How many people did you say had chair? Oops, like, mm -hmm. having, having done the homework, and a it, different list of words, mm -hmm. and it's explained that. I was listening for the word chair after about the first five words. I'm like, she's not going to say chair. <laughs> and mind you, the homework did not have an example. It was a different no, example. Was a but, different I, but I read the, the homework too. And, and two of the articles I did understand, one I did not. <laughs> and so when I was writing my words, I got to that one and I thought, oh, chair, that's likely the one that she wasn't there. And I thought, no, but I think I really heard it. <laughs> I wrote it down. And I the, know I heard it. And it's the fourth out of nine words I wrote down. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to talk about, the, the exercise today is a Mandela effect. And this is also kind of known as the false memory syndrome. And what happens is our brains, we don't know exactly uh, the person that you would Look up if you really, really want to know more about this. The expert is Elizabeth Loftus, a wonderful, amazing person, a very, very nice, kind person. But she's written all, she does all the, she's written lots of great books on, on false memory syndrome. And she's the one who, who they uh, hire. Ooh, there's a kitty. She's the one who hired, they hire for, for um, like the Johnny Depp trial. She was in that. She does. She's an expert. She does expert testimony, trying to explain to people that we can implant memories in falsely in somebody. And we can also, um, our brains can make false memories. And the reasons I put on here, what we think the reason is. Um, see, I have the whole lesson on this little notepad. So, wow. it's, so it's like, wow. Uh -huh. The brain gives us false memories, and the the we think the reason is because the brain is trying to make connections, and they're trying to do it so that we can go fast because we're fast. You know, our brains do that computation really, really quick. Whatever we do, a memory, directions, what to say, how to spell, whatever, we're doing it really, really fast. So we think that the brain is taking the like the words that I just gave you, and they're giving you a fast output. So it's not necessarily quality. It's it's something that is is not as um, reliable though. They also think, you know, a lot of people have an idea about memory. Is that you, it's like a VHS tape. You guys remember VHS tapes? You put it in the machine and you hit play. And then here goes your memory of whatever happened, like the party you went to when you were four. And then when you, when you access that memory again, you hit rewind and you hit play again. And there's that exact same memory again. But what we think is going on with memory is we don't, that's not how it works. What we do is we're just theoretically, uh, they think that it's rewriting your memory. And we fill in stuff. You fill in things that you didn't know, or people around mm -hmm. you say, oh, don't you remember whenever you dropped the cake or whatever? And you're like, yeah, I sort of do remember that. Or did you remember, was there a cat? But then, as you said, you rewrite it as you go through it. And so if you include new facts, you have false they memories. become part of that memory. And right. not actually the That's facts. how they get false uh, confessions. Yeah, false confessions, partly, and plus sleep deprivation, all those other things. So how many people saw the cat that walked by? I saw it over there. I, I saw you react to the cat. You saw me react to the cat, but you didn't see the cat. It's black and white. So how do you know there was a cat? Uh, I decided that I didn't have any evidence, so I would go. And you kind of trust that. Why would I make that up? Yeah, well, I don't care about cats. So, <laughs> so I turned I why not? <laughs> it was walking, but by the time Cindy turned, it there was, was there. it wasn't right. visible. It had gone it, where the shades are. Absolutely. So this is something that we could do is to and so a group of people could make a collective decision to fool somebody else. I think in magic, this is common, right? I remember Finn and Teller doing the what was it, the Indian rope trip trick, right? I don't remember that. Nobody, you remember it? Are you so, sure you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> what they did is they would they got a huge group. Of, the 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 trick is supposedly some little boy climbs up a a a, a, a rope, and he climbs up the rope, and there's nothing keeping the rope up. It's just a rope, like standing straight up, 
And so what they did is one of the tricks they did is they had a whole group of people and they said, okay, everybody, you're gonna, here's what happened. The little boy's gonna run up the rope and I want you guys all to give the biggest cheer and laugh and oh my gosh, this is crazy. And just hold the story. And the place went nuts. Everybody's screaming, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And the people start running in from other places going, what happened, what happened? And everybody's in on the joke and they said, Oh my gosh, that kid just ran up the, 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 the rope. And then they had them believing it. And so they were able to see this phenomenon of people outside the, the who didn't see it saying they saw it. They didn't see it because it didn't happen. But it's 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 just, you can do that. And I remember you telling me, Mark, many times that- I love it, Dave. Oh, you tell, tell about your levitation. That's a good example. Or just levitate. No, no. This, no, this, okay, this okay. is like the same thing. Yeah, it's got to be on a clip. Uh, yeah, there's a levitation method that I know about, which I won't demonstrate right now. Thank you. But I was doing a private party uh, in Palos Verde, very wealthy family, and it was on the cliffs where Marineland used to be. Very she-she and lots of champagne blowing. And so I was doing standard magic, and but then I noticed that this one group of people were getting really wasted, and they were also getting really close to the edge of the cliff. Or if they would have stepped like five feet, they would have gone a hundred feet straight down. Oh you know? So I went over to them <clears throat> and I, I said, are you guys all right? And they're like, yeah, we're fine. You know, so, hey, if you're really a magician, you should be able to levitate out over the ocean. So I said, okay, uh, I can do that. And they're <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so I climbed, I remember over, involved. there was a little low wall. And then, like I said, there was maybe five feet and then a straight drop. So I climbed over the wall carefully and I proceeded to do this levitation effect that I know, which if it's done correctly and you get the, you get the people, the main thing is without giving the whole secret away, you have to get the people who are watching it to stand in a certain place so their perception of what they see is not exactly, if you saw the first David Blaine special where he levitates in the street, that's how he did it. Yeah. But he did clever editing to make it look better. So I did it and they were just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then they went back into the crowd of all the other way. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, then they went off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were terrified. They were like, oh man. Go away. They were so witch. Witch. Maybe they were sober then. So now that they, yeah, exactly. They were like, oh, you know, yeah. then they went back and told, you know, 20 more people, that guy just levitated out over the ocean. You know, they made it bigger than it was, which is exactly Fantastic. what you want. Like, you yeah. know. So for the rest of the afternoon, people come coming up to me and they were going, Would you levitate out or over the ocean again? And I'd be like, it's too windy. I don't want to try to change this. <laughs> So it's the same thing. I mean, they didn't, they're skeptical thinking and critical thinking. Out the door. No, they just figured this guy can do that. So obviously it's a great man. There were witnesses. Yeah, there were witnesses and they were shaking their heads. And so that's a very good example. Thank you, Mark, for sharing that. It was great. So I, wish uh, I could do it again, but <laughs> <laughs> you have to have enough alcohol in the people are watching. Yeah, and you never yeah, repeat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know. repeat it, you would be gilding the lily. So um, another reason they think might be happening with with us uh, with uh, false memories is some people are very suggestible or they trust the person who's giving them the information. They're like, well, why would so-and-so lie about it? Um, also, possibly trauma. Um, might be another reason why they have a problem with it. Do you remember at Skeptic Camp a few years ago when we had uh, the woman from CSUMB, she was an expert on false memory. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember the example she gave about a about a woman who was uh, who was raped in her home? No. She so this woman, it was, I don't think it was a local woman, but uh, so this professor at CSUMB, we had her come out and give us a talk at one of our skeptic camps. And the there was some serious trauma that happened to a woman in her home. And the TV was on when it happened. And so whenever she recounted to the police later what happened, she described the person on the TV. Yeah, that's the show that was on the TV oh, wow. was the person she described as a rapist. Wow. Fascinating, horrible, but it's fascinating how the brain can do this to us. You know, she was, I don't know if you want to use the word disassociating, but it, she was trying to not be present in the moment. And I guess that had, uh, had, uh, 
been the thing that came to her. And so did they end up actually arresting Jay Leno? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jay. Poor Jay Leno. Oh, not you, Jay. Not me. Not you, Jay. No, I think Jay Leno got off. Well, time. this reminds me. I think he had an alibi. This reminds yeah. me of our friend Ben Radford, who did the research on the Chupacabra. Yes. Oh, get that and, straight. And got to the basis. Do you know what the Chupacabra is? The blood sucking vampire. <gasps> it's the goat sucker. Exactly. I knew we'd find it. So this friend out. of ours <laughs> wrote this book, the definitive book on the Chupacabra, because he realized that this was the only um, cryptozoological entity of which every person that claimed to have seen it is still alive. So he went out and he interviewed every single person that had ever seen one. And what he found was he traced it back to this woman who had seen the movie Species. Mm -hmm. Oh. And so when you look at the Chipacabra, it looks exactly like, like the creature in Species. And he could trace it back right to after she saw that. And, right after she saw the movie, she saw And then she saw something that she couldn't quite explain, and she just imprinted that on them. It's in Puerto Rico, right? I think so, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. I know, ended up in Texas, though, after that. Oh, it's all over. Tracking the Chupacabra. Bigfoot. Hanging out, or hanging out with Bigfoot. And all. Yeah, yeah. tracking the Chupacabra. It's a good example, too, Jay. So, mm -hmm. um, so we don't really know about false memory, what it is that's going on. But I want to talk about the Mandela effect. And for those of you who've done the reading, you know what that is. I'm going to have Karen, who has the keyboard, because she's in charge. I need you to find a website. I do not uh, have my my uh, my PowerPoint on here. I had some slides for you guys. But what is this Mandela effect? Can you describe what it is, Karen, Karen or Deborah, who read the lesson? Let, let Deborah do it since no, Karen's I don't remember. Do you that. want the Wikipedia page or when do you want? No, no, no. Deborah can do it. Uh, no, I, I read it and I still don't know. Okay, so the Mandela <laughs> effect, do you know, Jay? Sure. Go ahead. Um, it's a memory that uh, uh, many people share, that they swear is true, that they remember for sure, that it turns out is not at all true. Another good example is uh, the, Sh the Shazam movie, right? With that, That's getting a little old there. I'm, I'm not quite that old. <laughs> well, but the truth is, it didn't happen yesterday. It's the kind of thing that people are going to remember. So people remember things about Nelson Mandela. That's why it's named. Which yeah, I was just going to say, that's how I, now I remember what it's yeah. Right. So the Mandela effect is that people started thinking some person whose name you will not remember and I won't remember, so it's not important, but some person created this idea. The Mandela effect, uh, that they distinctly remember that Mandela, Nelson Mandela died in the 1980s in prison. prison. Yeah. They remember the funeral. They remember all the things that happened. Vivid. Vivid memories. Yes, very, very, very vivid memories. And then they find out that Nelson Mandela didn't die in prison. In fact, he got out of prison and he became the president of South Africa, right? Yep. And lived for many years. And then afterwards. also, there's many other people that have the same memory. Which is the which problem. Which is a characteristic. Yeah. So the problem is, is when we get into, okay, it's one thing to be burned by a, uh, burned by a, a hairdryer. We have that happen, except for in Jay's case, probably. Um, <laughs> not recently. Okay. So, right. People get burnt by hair dryers. That's one thing. But the problem is, is whenever it is, it's the small fraction of people, the small subset of people that are going to believe weird things that believe that it was a UFO because they saw some video on it or whatever. So in the Mandela effect, people started thinking, what do you think <laughs> that means? If we, if we both have this distinct memory of Mandela dying in the 1980s, but he didn't die in the 1980s. What does that actually mean? Alien implants, it's obviously. Some kind of oh, conspiracy, conspiracy, obviously. Right. We've all been brainwashed. Well, they think a, simulation. a lot of people seem to think simulation. We're living in a simulation. In so mind. some right. people yeah, think, yeah. some people do think that what it is, is it's it is parallel universe. The parallel, yeah, the parallel right. universe. Thing. So it's it's happening in another. <laughs> There's like a little bleed over to. Yeah, it's happening in another area. I think it's alien implants. Right. So I want to have you guys break into groups. Groups, groups, groups. You guys be a group. You guys be a group. And I want you to discuss really quickly, quickly. And you need to come together into a little group we decided. You have to be a little closer together. Right under the microphone. No, because of the audio. It picks up everything you say, and it's better Welcome if you're kind of in. Right. So your discussion is you have run into a friend 
who's told you that they know for sure that Mel Nelson Mandela died in um, prison. In the 80s. In the 80s. And they distinctly remember it. So that's your first task. Care, uh, uh, Cindy, group, go with that group over there. Um, right. Would you like this to find whatever you want on the website? No, that was beautiful. Sure. And, and, sorry, so you recently uh, had a friend that came and told you that. And what? You want to know how we react? Need to, you need to talk to them using good skills of not rolling your eyes. These are the lessons we learned last week, how not to roll your eyes, how to have a civil, how could, okay, yeah. we haven't got into, we haven't got into the parallel universes yet. We're at, we're at the, yeah. Okay. So you three, okay. Okay. get a little closer together so that you guys aren't so loud. Okay. So, okay. So, so I'm going to leave it at that. Wait, I don't think. You believe no. Nelson Mandela in high school in 81. Yeah. No, but I would say, uh, so you kind of leave yeah. down. So maybe I'll say that. I say in the eighties, I was like seven so, twenty-five years um, old. If that's the case, there must be videos, right? There must be news stories. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. I mean, news this, this, I, I recently saw a news story during he was elected president of South Africa. And I did everything yeah. wrong. And I can show you that stuff. Laughter. That can be too. Oh, you're serious? And then I said, no, and you're then, you know, one of my favorite questions and is sugar. I mean, I did you wrong. And if they say, well, I did everything wrong. Then I went home and we said, you talk. If your loved one has joined a cult, because they have, down, and they have changed. Yeah. But the first time, I right. did everything wrong. You know, the amazing thing for me is you talk to so, Scott. I think you say, and "What would change your mind?" Yeah, they uh, always have an answer. Sure. Sure. Any sort of belief that you know so well. Supported. Yeah, but I think you can know behind that. their their they're own not, self. They're not in the mainstream. Something like that. Into the valley. What they're saying. Absolutely. So if you yeah, call them I out on so something, so they, you're going to embarrass them. So, you so, 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 so that's what I would do in this situation. What would come, come, come to the one of you? So well, you know, like, like where do you see this? Or <laughs> 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 oh, but I remember it myself. I remember seeing it. I was, I would remember seeing it live. No, no, no. I was around you. I remember seeing it. I saw my teaser. I remember seeing it on TV. Get my phone out. Right? Yeah. Because I'm not that. I have a friend. Oh, yeah. It's high school. We used to run four miles. Only like that. They're going to have a reason why it goes well. Like, they're going to plan a flying from your single population. Precisely. Right? Like, whatever you want them to say. All more than no one, right? So it's like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm not dying. No. Yeah. Do you have some come back? Okay, come back from your talk, from your old maneuver. Come back from your alternate dimension. Come back from your alternate dimension. Okay, so what feedback do we have from your group over there? What do you guys come up with? Oh, Go ahead, Karen. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> sure. Well, I, I found this example um, very apropos for me because I just went to South Africa about six months ago. And they have a lot of museums that suggest Nelson Mandela actually lived longer and was president. And not a lot of people in my circle were actually paying that much attention to Mandela in the 80s because um, I was like, one? <laughs> really getting firsthand. So I might ask my friend like where their interest came from. And you know, I didn't know a lot about Mandela before going over there. I wouldn't have guessed when he died because it was never on my radar. So why is what led to your interest? That's very kind. Yeah. I think Jerry's got it. He's kind. I did a lot of should be a public defender. <laughs> 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 Holy cow. Disabusing people are not. <laughs> so Mark said something really, I, I heard you say something just a minute ago that when he was talking to you said, you said you were at the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> or didn't you say that? Yeah. You tried to dissuade the guy saying, no, I was there. I was at the funeral. I know he died in the 80s, right? <clears throat> You mean the funeral in the evening? Yeah. <laughs> this is George. What is it, George Santos? The mom how many oh, she uh, died now? Yeah, twice. <laughs> She's died at least twice, according to his public statement. Which mom are we talking about? <laughs> Which of the, the moms? Yeah. What about your group? What did you ask them up with? 
Uh, we believe the guy. <laughs> it's Mark said he's a it's Mark, Mark said he's a he's trusting. No. He looks trustable. We talked about um using the Socratic method and asked questions like um, for example. So um uh, that's interesting because um you know have you have you ever checked news articles on him? Because I recently saw a thing on TV where they were talking about his time as president of South Africa. And so I'm wondering well, before prison. No. <laughs> you know, so, so yeah, I'm like like have you have you checked this out? What sources have you used? Um uh have you checked it out recently? Do you have any friends that can that that remember you know sitting with you and watching this? Were you kind? Yeah, yeah. Richard, was he kind? So so. <laughs> I I noticed, you know, if I put myself in that guy's shoes, he would get defensive and shut down. I yep. think, you know, from Jay's comments, because it's still the same thing. You're still saying you're full of it. You no, know, and... no, that's different. Ooh, oh, oh that's I, guess I would good. take it if I was him. Well, the thing is, if I if I start off saying, um, you don't do you yeah. do you have any evidence? <laughs> that's not going to work. And that's right? most of the community has been right Absolutely. for a long time. So I I, I learned from last week. <laughs> I per I would personalize it so it gives them an out and so that they can think, well, maybe I need to Google this or look at news yeah. articles or something. So I personalized it by saying, well, in the 80s, I was like 17 to 25 years old and really wasn't paying much attention to world politics. Um, to world politics. As I remember. I was older and I remember when he got out and feeling so happy that he got to see, you know, the fruits of you know what happened and he got to be president. That's what I remember. And I wasn't paying attention to that when I was in my late teens, early 20s. It was much it's much longer. I know Karen was kind. Of I also like taking but, but no, that's only after last week, Susan. Before that, I would say, <laughs> are you crazy? Got. Shook their shoulder. <laughs> Which we learned was not the thing to do. Yeah. yeah. It, it, not if you want to have a conversation. Yeah. This was a part of our conversation, but I just kind of realized too that there are people a lot of times it's younger people in a place like that, but in the other situations who don't have the background of even being able to have known about it. You know, they, they weren't alive then, or they don't have that, they maybe just weren't interested in yeah. that, or, you know, they're just not, they just don't have the background to even have had a, an opinion about it before. And then the first thing they hear about it was wrong, but they believed it because they just- It was became, what they heard first. It was just what they heard first, exactly. I think there's a name for that, and I don't remember what it is. But... But I'm I'm generally interested in why people believe what they believe. Yeah. And well, they so remember it, Jay. If, no, no, no. But but like I've I've discussed with people who have very different beliefs than me. And I love to try and get down to that root of why they believe that. And it's like, oh, that's like it's fascinating to me that people believe some of these things, right? Yeah. And I find that when you take an interest and you have a genuine interest, people respond to that really well. Yeah. You know, not not like it keeps the conversation. Are you nuts? Right? <laughs> but like, oh wow! I and didn't... also trying to find out what would make them them take a different view. That's the other one we discussed. What would make you change your mind? Yeah. The the amazing thing is you talk to skeptics. If you ask skeptics, what would make you change your mind? They oh. all have an answer, right? <laughs> Google. Yeah, yeah. I would look at that. Well, you already know this person believing this thing, so you know. That they're not going to want to answer that. Wait, but there's different levels of belief. There's this is what I think is a fact, and this is a core belief, right? If you, for example, challenge someone on their religion, which is like a really core thing, yeah, it's going to be really hard to shake that. Yeah. But a lot of people, they just they'll throw out facts that they heard <laughs> on, I don't know, Fox some News. Fox News, right? Doctor Phil. Phil, and they'll just throw it out. I heard it somewhere that, and it's like if you challenge it, it's it's not a court to. Yeah, but Joe, people yeah. who believe in conspiracy, that is their religion, because that explains the world, Joe. Absolutely, and they are so invested in the conspiracies that they watch, they can actually get pile up with but you if you challenge. This them. is a good example because this one is not. It's not necessarily conspiracy. Well, correct. But right? then they uh, also yeah. say that no, all yeah. the research on Google that says when Davo didn't die until 2013, they're going to say is 
part of a conspiracy and fake, a fake news. Well, anyone can write anything on Wikipedia. Come on. Well, well yeah, but, but you got a lot of different sources because when you Google Mandela, you're going to get a lot of different sources. Yeah. Talking about Mandela. Yeah. And most of them are going to agree he didn't die until 2013 and he was the president. Well, there's a better South one. Africa if I, if I Google, he was released from prison. If I Google most conspiracy theories and I Google it with the with the words that try and confirm my conspiracy, which is what they're trying to do, which is what they're trying to do, yeah. I'm going to get a lot of websites that confirm what I'm looking for, right? Mm -hmm. And it's on the internet, so it must be free. Well, what I uh, what I appreciate about just you know kind of meeting you and just socializing right and then it, it really having the effect on uh just the way my brain works right just by being introduced to this concept now i i i scrutinize things in a different way or i notice when i'm just too delighted for something that i hope is true and I'm like, well, is that is that really? I mean, not 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 that anyone would hope uh, Mandela, Mandela died in the '80s, but do you know what I mean? Just being aware of these things uh, is changing the way I look at stuff. And like, well, let me check that out first before I. Well, I'm learning as you guys learn, so I, I think this is all really interesting. So now, once you meet you with your little group, go back and go back to your group, and your assignment this time is now your friend has told you that they have seen a video, right? And the video talks about that there's a lot of people who believe in the Mandela effect because they they all know there's a okay there's no way in this world that there's that many people believe like I did that clearly remember Mandela dying in the eighties in prison so therefore must be true quantum <clears throat> universe quantum <laughs> or parallel universes or, or they don't even have a real good explanation or it's a conspiracy <laughs> or whatever so you're so go into your little groups do it again and now your friend has gone there so now how do you have this conversation and now that it's not just about they remember mandela dying in the 80s but mm -hmm. it's <laughs> more than that they have it what are we supposed to i'm, I'm just i'm just gonna believe it. it's like it's so much easier it's so much easier almost no, I'm. Um, yeah, rest. that's one way. I, <laughs> it's one way. Yeah. Um, I, the the first thing. I What's behind that? Well, you know. Okay, and, so you know, say you're. You say a lot of things. Um, so correct. I that a lot of people actually believe. This. Why would you? Like, and, why and would a lot of people believe, believe this. Why oh, why would they believe? Yeah, why is that important to them? Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't put it. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't, why, you can't just, why they, why, they really well, didn't really yeah. make that claim. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that's the incorrect claim. What would be the motivation? Never. The no. We've got to suicide. There's something like that it somewhere. I think people having get done emotional or not having attached to something. The fact that life is like a cult. Well, yeah, that's but why take that? You know, why take that as a thing? Right. So the mechanism in the brain that connects this guy and the other me. This guy and the other me. And there's also the conspiracy. Yeah, they may just like this. Yeah, that's smart because you want to know that. Right. That's if they awesome. know that yeah, they have something that a cocktail party is out. Yeah. So, but, so, so they say, so they say, like the brother, there's a video, so they tell you a bunch of video. So then I would say, well, but here's the thing. That's why I love to ask. Like I did with my so friend, you know, um, I can just can share one that, one that one link with you. I'd like to see it. Because yeah, I really, like, really believe what I'm saying is so. Right. I recall my sources. life and what I sources, see. but not really believe what I'm not saying. Just correct. Hey, give me your sources. Um, <laughs> right. Share that with me. But actually, like I'm I'm tired sure about it. So okay. so I would wonder I mean, I really want, like I'd love to see some of this stuff. Yeah. yeah. And if you actually and express a genuine interest in the video where they well, talk about it. Yeah. 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 At least it doesn't matter. And I would probably write the video. Yeah. Yeah. And I then email. do something to where, like, it was, you know, archival footage. I will find 
where video. Mandela is in front of thousands and thousands of people. And, I and it was recorded simultaneously in the major newspaper. So, when oh, I, I, so after I watched the news, uh, their video, next time I was saying, I watched so that. And, and I and started wondering. Yeah. And now it doesn't so I looked up this other stuff. So I wondered if you're willing to explain it. And if they're not, if they never have that, I probably would just give up. Somebody else said, no, look, I have a pen. It's such a pretty bad work. Not a it's not, it's not from this yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, there. I said, no, I told you I said contrary evidence. If there was it's called advertising. Yeah, yeah. Every few yeah. years or decades, they might change the logo. What are you talking they about? That. But he was thoroughly convinced that it's so. I'll just, so, so again, I'm not going to get to the source. Like, uh, that was his so, source. So, no, no, no. But, but again, you get to the root and you realize that you're never going to agree. That's a good time to walk away. You're not arguing more. You get to, like, so I, I, I had a conversation with the guy by this where you're before I started peeling the onion, trying to figure out what right? the source of the belief in homeopathy is. Interested in why they do it. And it turns out, he's going to go back to that the intent of the person making the medicine affected the medicine. And then how close you are. Close your eyes to where you're going to ask. All right. Question. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, we're done. Because I'm never convinced. I'm not going to convince him. He's not going to convince me. But I understand. And I keep that for every issue. Why is it important? Right? So, yeah. This alternative. I like to that up. can be experienced right. by some of the human beings that are existing. And so that, that means we can't, can't rely no, on but, but um, no, reality. It wasn't just on that. Right. 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 I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's a whole so, class of things that he's going to believe. Yeah, I mean, it really could get right? down to this. This solves a lot of secrets to the universe. You know, you're you're that, you know maybe there are, you know, maybe they can't yeah. deal with the overwhelm of the human condition yeah, and war or, or trauma or it, things that happened in their life and for them and for this it makes it all went so it makes sense oh, well there are alternative realities and i have to i like another, another one that i like better right. and that's uh yeah. But you know we have ah! now. I was like, serious. Sorry, was it yeah. okay? Was it okay? Yeah. Or was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it said uh, Berlin. And your and your and your and they can have marks. You know, public people saying so that they're serious. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my response is that people. The, um, people. They're I'm sure it does. They can read the people. Like they can voice the people. They're they're going to make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got to All right, start coming back from your little group discussion. Okay, which like more because they want they want to be the first as soon as we be like what and they know someone's gonna do it what? and they want to be the all right yeah. come back from your little deja vu's yeah yeah days that's one thing i've ever heard of. okay so this group here this time i'm gonna ask you guys first what did you come up with how did you handle your your mythical we walked away <laughs> Probably you didn't talk about it as <laughs> You didn't really walk away. You were having discussions. No, we, we, yeah, we, we, we believed them. <laughs> and I know you didn't believe them. We, in this universe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we uh, uh, talked about basically the same idea on the first deal, where you try to posture yourself as inquisitive, not authoritarian, and, you know, and acting where. He got this information. How did we learn about this? In, in terms of saying it in a way that doesn't offend, it's just, just you know. And also, it's like, oh, you saw big ones. I'd love to see that video. That would be really interesting. Exploring. We we came to that conclusion last week, I think, too. Mm -hmm. When you're, you know, arm in arm, you're exploring this part, this question, and that's about the only shot you have. And also, well, and also, had you know, have you seen other videos like this? And so, what you're really doing is trying to to get their evidence and understand what their evidence is. But the example that I used was I talked to a guy who believed in homeopathy, and I, you know, I wanted to understand why he believed in homeopathy. So I started peeling the onion and came down to the point where I realized. No. <laughs> I, I wear contacts. Okay. So okay. got down to the point where I realized that he believed that the intent of the person making a remedy affected the remedy. 
and that was a core belief, and I wasn't going to change that belief. And that was it. It's like, oh, thanks. I understand that now. Good. We have a difference of belief there, but I understand why we have a difference of belief. And we could move on. And you're absolutely right. I love also how you said, can I see that video? If you have the time, you know, you're going to see the yes. person again. Yeah, that's a big So one. that you can have that conversation later with them. Like, so when you get a chance at lunch today, yeah. let's yeah. sit and talk because I saw your video. I have some questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. Hmm? I got an idea. Yes, you have an idea. Why don't you ask Siri? <laughs> I I don't have Siri. I use I use somebody else. Siri is uh, controlled by big tech. Who do I use? Or do we use Siri? Alexa is controlled by big Siri. tech. Oh no, I use Siri. I hear you talking about. They're all controlled by big tech. But that's She's just going to prove that it is is a conspiracy. So what did your group come up with, you guys, back there? Similar. We wanted to see the video. Were you kind? I think so. <laughs> I I don't know. I think I think it takes a lot of practice <laughs> to get out of your old behavior. Yeah. So you know what's right. That doesn't mean you're going to do what's right when you come up to the situation. You can't control when you roll your eyes sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can. We we should practice. Can. We should have a whole class. We should have a whole class. We should have a whole yeah, class yeah. on how it's you can. Point. Oh, you're a magician. You know how to like trap. Yes, you yes. what you do is you drop something on the ground, and oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you gotta. You <laughs> practice that nicely. Okay, yeah. so so there are ways to do this. That I'd be like, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. In my eye. Something in my eye. <laughs> I need to hear somewhere. <laughs> but, but seriously, like I'm, I, maybe it's easier for me because I'm genuinely interested in why people believe crazy things that I do not believe. And there's always a possibility that I'm wrong. Did you read Sherman's book? Which, Which book? one? Why? Yes, why, why, people, specific. why people believe in I, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, people, like I, the example I gave of the guy who believed in homeopathy, right? Right. Like he had this core belief based on all kinds of <clears throat> spiritual beliefs. Was he German? No. <laughs> all kinds of reasons that date back to his childhood. And it's like, it was a core, 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 core belief that I was never going to change. And it's like, oh, that's fascinating. See, when, when, you're, when you said that about the, the, it would matter the intention of the person making the remedy, and I would be inclined to go, oh, okay. There's some water. <laughs> yeah. that's I wave idea. my hands over it, and I'm at this real intention. No, no, you, you have to sure. You have to shake your it. And get it and I'll give it to you. And yeah, and you he, gonna... he, he believes that affects him. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to believe it's going to work. Well, like he said, he believes it affects him. He didn't believe it would always work. Those are different things, yeah, right? There were right. all kinds of special pleading and all kinds of, but you know, I, 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 I could defend him, <laughs> but like I don't believe, believe it, right? It. Yeah. yeah. It's like Trump. Declassifying, by yeah, word. I said the word. He said the word. Don't say <laughs> it. I love it. The motion. The word. So, These droids are not for Mark us. and I were, <laughs> I think we were telling the story a minute ago. Mark and I were on tour in Germany two years ago, and uh, Germany's the home place of homeopathy. We yeah. went to the home place. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Gosh, people I, believe in homeopathy there. In America, it's not such a big deal. I mean, you hear to of the it. point of death threats. Oh, yeah. yeah. People would get death yeah. threats for homeopathy. Yeah. It's a huge that's deal. That's crazy thing. So, there. It's what? They're crazy thing. Yeah. Home I mean, that's like each country is going to have their biggest crazy thing. Yeah. So, we're they're crazy. crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, we got Trump. Oh, I said the word. Why is <laughs> now? Tom. Tom. Be nice. I know. Okay. So one of the things we found in this example, I think Margaret was talking about with homeopathy, it always makes me laugh as we went in uh, to the skeptics group over there, GW and Whoop. And uh, they had all sorts of homeopathy, and one was a little vial of the Berlin Wall. A little well, tiny what piece of what would they do for you? It cured claustrophobia. Oh. Obviously. <laughs> oh, well, Obviously. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but the, that makes sense. And There's a like, correlation there. I can get you some if you'd like, and they're like, no, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have lost of okay. It's 35 marks, so that's like 50 bucks. Okay, yeah. Okay, so good, good. You guys got it. So that's good. You got you went really far. So now we're going to do something a little more fun. And Karen, can you pull us up? Okay. On the, the library will be closing in 30 minutes. The second floor will be closing in 15 minutes. 
The study rooms are now closed. No, I think it's somebody there. Atención. What if it's a woman? Ready for my orders. Could you look up um, slides for Mandela effect? I had some on my computer, but they're on my little thing. It's not like a word. Okay. But you want images? And let's just go through these because they're kind of fun. We can find. You got to turn the lights. We turn the lights. Yeah. See, I'm I'm looking for slides. Like there's there's if you go into the internet, there's a whole bunch of websites that have all kinds of fun Mandela effects on a website that looks very well mine there's a video mandela slides or quiz or yeah let me watch a video I yes. want to do quiz no. uh, you know is there a quiz do quiz Let's yes there is a quiz i remember seeing it we will be ad so just ignore them kucha kucha presentation there's a quiz, I I it's quiz. oh it's a video game you want to do this no, not both speed. That's, no, I don't, that's for Android. Android. We think that's not going to work. Whatever, well. you'll find something. So what, these, are, these are, um, ah. there's a whole bunch of different Mandela effects. Like you yeah. said, uh, the Wikipedia page has got a lot of really great references to Mandela effect. This is just one more tool that you probably will never encounter, but <laughs> in the wild, the Mandela effect, like the hairdryer example, is a really great way of coming yeah, up with right there. There you go. It's it's a really great way of having conversations with people. Remember yes, yesterday, last week I was telling you about, okay, hold on a second. Um, Brian Dunning was talking about the importance of having great conversations with people, but before you can have that conversation with them, you have to come up with some kind of common language, right? Because we use words in the skeptic, scientific skeptic community that do not mean the same, have the same meaning with somebody who's a believer. Good point. So if they believe, what are those catch words that we hear all the time? Energy. Quantum. Quantum. Theory. theory. Okay, so. Kombucha. Kombucha. <laughs> Kombucha. <laughs> so there are words that mean something to one person that don't mean the same word to the other person. So it's really hard to have great conversations with people if you haven't had some way of defining terms. So the hair dryer example and this Mandela effect are really good examples of how you can have a conversation with somebody who does not believe these things, right? So if you've got a, what? well, if you have time, why would you be having a conversation? Because you're trying to come up with a, uh, um, the same, you're trying to work on a vocabulary. So what you would say as example is you've got a coworker who believes all sorts of crazy stuff that you think are like way out there. And you're like, you know what? I don't want to have conflict with this person and have to constantly be having problems with them. I know you guys are all looking at slides. Leave me. No, just I'm not moving it though. Okay, just ignore it. So um, I know my people. I'm looking at that Captain Crunch. Yeah. So, anyway, so uh, Captain Susan, Captain Gerbic. So what, what happens is if you can have a time with somebody and you could say, all right, let's have a conversation about something that we can kind of agree on. So you can say something about like, you can talk about the hair dryer things like, Hey, you know, I went to this workshop and this thing, and they were, did you, can you believe it? These people think it's UFOs and the hair dryers. And, and then they're like, what? That's crazy. So now you and this other person have a commonality. You both already say that's, that's way out there or this Mandela effect. I'm going to explain with, with the um, quantum stuff. If you can use that as an example that we both agree on, then when you're done with having this conversation, hopefully you'll be, there it is, UFO. See, Darren didn't get to see it. Show them, show them the little burn marks. There they are. That's what they look like. And they're all different depending on the burn. So if you can have a, if you can have a discussion with them about something that is not their sacred cow, then maybe you'll be able to have better conversations with them about whatever their sacred cow is, their issue. Because now you've at least said to them, so I know that uh, the hairdryer example is really out there and we both agree. Maybe you could say, why do you think people believe that? And talk to your friend like that and say, but what if they tell you this? Uh, what if they tell you that? And then your friend has got some kind of, you've got a, you've got a rapport. Can I do an example sure. that I'd love some feedback on? Yeah. My sister believes in all kinds of crazy fad diets. Your sister that I met? Your sister. Did, did you meet my sister? I met no. a sister. Miriam? No, that's no, not no, my that's sister. A that's a cousin. Oh. My sister believes in all kinds of crazy fad <laughs> <Sorry>. diets. 
Um, Sorry, we just and so this. <laughs> she will tell me. So she she believes in uh, like all kinds of crazy, whacked out dietary stuff. So she'll say, you know, a calorie is not a calorie, and I'll say, I don't think you understand the definition of a calorie. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's like a technical definition for a calorie. It is by definition a calorie, <laughs> and it's like. It's like, oh, no, but a calorie is not a calorie. And this doctor is really clear about that. It's like, okay. At that, that's the point at which I walk away. Because <laughs> I realize it's your sister after all. It's my sister after all. And I realize I'm, I, I, like, I'm never going to agree with her. And she's never going to agree with her. What does she mean by that? Yeah. Sorry. What does she mean by that? What she means by that is when people eat certain kinds of food, they affect you differently which is something I, I of That's course, fine. agree with. But she will say that um, uh, a calorie of this is not equal to a calorie of that. And it's like, well, the very addition of, definition of a calorie is the amount of energy it takes to raise one, one liter of water, one degree Celsius, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but a calorie is not a calorie. <laughs> well, I and you never get out of that. Well, I think one thing is, is that... Um, some calories, uh, I guess it's all the makeup of what's in the calorie. So they but more energy than others. Well, so, so here's the thing though, the doctors it's exactly the same amount of energy because that's the definition of a calorie. Or well, or however, wait, I think it's like it's a protein. No, it's like like however, so fat, fat, fat has twice yeah. as many calories per mass than and, and it, and then right. you digest a lot. Right. But that's a very different, <laughs> that's a very <laughs> different discussion, right? There are two issues like there's the bioavailability, like yeah. how you absorb something where it could be measured to be a calorie in the abstract, but your body's not actually going to take it into the calorie. Yep. And then if your body can it to something different, then it can spend the energy yeah. to do it. So, I mean, a calorie is a calorie yes. in the abstract if we're like heating up water, but in terms of actual food bioabsorption. You know, she's not insane on that point. She's not insane on that point. your lab now to your next holiday dinner. dinner. <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> ain't got the answer, you got the answer. They wouldn't do anything. They should make you so excited. They were a turn. But, that, but that's, but that's, 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 that's a great explanation. That's a great explanation. That's a great explanation. And the thing is about your sister understanding this is being recorded. Is she a person who struggles with? Body image, weight, She's things like that. Yeah, of course she does. Yeah. <laughs> She's human. Yeah. Because maybe it's something like looking for, you know, people don't want this simple answer that oh. some things are changeable, some are not. No, there's a, be a better one. There's a better one. require a lot of discipline. Yep. Yeah. There's a better one too. There's this difference between. If, they, if they're changeable at all. There's, a, there's this difference between experience and fact. And sometimes experience can be misleading, as proven by every magician ever. Um, but her experience is she's done things like intermittent fasting, where she uses specific kinds of foods and she eats certain things at certain times, and that's apparently worked for her. And probably takes in less calories absolutely, and, is absolutely, more, absolutely. and is more aware of being active. Absolutely, absolutely. There's all of those, so right? Successful. <laughs> But she's she, like diabetes, you have to eat at a certain time. Absolutely, absolutely. But no, so she so her experience is she's had this experience and she attributes it to certain things that may or may not be accurate, but that's her experience. Well, so she's just getting a mishmash of scientific information that but that's not, all of us. Not complete science. But that's all of us. Yeah. I'm There's sure no such thing as complete also, scientific this information. Is your sister, remember, she may be also trolling you. I, I don't know. This <laughs> well, I you know, think this really child, he grew so, up with her, so he should know. He should know, but, but don't leave, don't rule that out. That she, yeah, 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 Sure. What you're Absolutely. doing, so you fool yourself. Absolutely. Oh, in my childhood, there were kids who claimed to be allergic to things. It turns out they just didn't like them. Absolutely. We take learn that word. Oh, oh, mom, give it to me. Okay, Karen. So let's go through the slides again. All right, back to our. We find you guys have to Captain Crunch. Let's go to Captain Crunch. Now, these are some examples of pe that people. I don't know if they get into the 
to the Mandela effect thinking that it's quantum universes or anything like that. But so these are some examples of people really, 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 really believe. Do we have an agreement on which one is the correct spelling of captain? Was Captain Crunch captain? C-A-P-T-I-A-N or is it C-A-P apostrophe? Apostrophe. Apostrophe. Yeah. Yeah, that's Quaker, right? Okay, so put down, let's see. Um, oh, well, look at that one. Do you remember singing We Are the Champions by Queen at the top of your lungs and ending it of the world? Yes. They said he never he never said those three words. Oh, they always mishear these lyrics from their song. Well, that's true. Because of the audio paradola, that's another one. I have that CD at home. Uh -huh. Okay, so does it go further down here? Let's see what else is on this little so Let's play. Thing. Oh, next or oh, well that's Captain Crunch. Yeah, there we go. clicking. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, go to go to. Wait, where's the answer? Huh? So no, you you no, so you got to go to the next one. Oh, okay. You got to check the box. You got to check, check the box. Check the box. Check box. Check the box. All agreed on the left. Agree. Yeah, the left. Yeah. That guy. Okay. Yeah. Next. Awesome. That's correct. Okay. Will we get our horoscope when we're all done? <laughs> Jigsaws. I never saw the what was his signature line? Down. Down. I want to play a game. I think you want to play a game. Number three. I thought, okay, so Ooh. we have somebody, somebody voting for each one. It's Ten thousand. I think it's the last one. I didn't ever. I'm hearing you want to play a game. Number three. Ah, number two. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've never seen this. Right I got it. I heard it. Like trivia. What is the correct name of the correction tool? Whiteout. Whiteout. Liquid paper. Liquid paper. Without the. Yeah. Going down with scrolling. Yeah, liquid paper. Which one? Oh, oh whiteout or no. white out? White with the H. I think it's with the H. I think it's the H. Yeah, I think so. Too. I'm voting for that. Oh, um, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be right. Bloody Mandela effect. Oh, what's this got to do with the Mandela effect? Okay, I know this one for sure. I can't. Which one? I don't know. Well, I want to hear others guess. I think it's the first one. Others? I think it's the one on the right. I think it's the one on the right. You're going left. It is actually this one. Oh, you got it right. No. I thought it was the other one. More spiral. Wait, I didn't get the answer to the last one. It was red on the center. It's just one ray. Okay, it's Alaska Airlines. It's Alaska. Or Alaska Airlines. Weird. Uh, what do you think? Okay, Alaska. I have CDs people. I've been doing a laughing cow. Oh. I've never seen this. You've never seen that cheese? There's a. Doesn't it have a ring in its nose? He's got a scroll down. Scroll down. Bird nose. Oh, which one is it? Oh, I think it is the nose. Could be wrong. Well. What do you guys think? I, I don't. I without don't, nose ring. I don't know. I can't even see the difference. <laughs> okay, without <laughs> nose ring. The difference is the nose That's ring. The box. I think it's with a nose ring. So the one on the left. Ah, oh, without without a wall. Wall. Wait, what are you? Oh, I see what you're looking at. Don't scroll down. I was wrong. Uh, ooh. I think there's no H. Baba Yaga. Hless. Hless. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was with an H. With an H? I don't know. I don't I don't know either. I think with an H. Okay, we've got two and two. Who's gonna break the tie? But see, I have to say again, some of these I, I have a strong opinion on, and some of them I don't really care. Oh, you're or right. care. Like the so what this is like a spelling bee. It's not yeah, right, oh, right, this right. Is, okay. This is one that oh, a lot of people I know this. I think I know this. It's Chuck E. Cheese. It's the right hand. Yeah. Font. It is? Do you do you know do you know right. who who started Chuck E. Cheese? Disney. Chuck, Chuck. Some <laughs> Chicago gangster. It was yeah. Golden Bushnell yeah. who started Atari. And he started it in the Bay Area. Really? Yeah. Chuck E. 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 Yeah, they're both E. It's cheese or cheeses. Yeah. Oh. And it's cheeses. It's the right hand. It's, it's the right, right hand. hand. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay, so well, you can end it because that's <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more time. the color of Tony of Tony the Tiger. Orange. He's both orange. Go down. Go, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Nose. Oh, Is it black or blue? Black. Blue. Ah, I think blue. I think black. 
I think it's blue. Oh, Attention, the library will be closing in 15 minutes. Ha! Ah, ha! I don't mind. Sorry, it's not closed. Okay, Ooh. good job. <laughs> so, I'm still just confused. Okay, so aren't going to be confused. What's the big deal? Well, what is the big deal? What's the proof for the for? Okay, so the the thing, the whole lesson is about. If how people are have... misremembering things. Yes. That's all it is. Yes. But well, they're but, confident but about it. But it's confidence and it's max. And they're saying to you, there's nothing you can say that's going to tell me Tony the Tiger's nose was actually blue. It was black. I know it for a fact. Because I grew I remember, up with it. I remember seeing it on the box. Every day it. I would sit down I mean, and I eat it. I you know, so LSD and <laughs> but to help people realize that this this that, that this exists and as you understand that to question is even when we think we're certain of things to question is a good practice and then it we you know to help it permeate you know everything we do and hopefully right. society so the example from the one of the reasons why i'm doing the mandela effect is because I want you guys to remember that the person that you're probably you may be talking to has a very definite, firm belief in it that is unchanging. So you know they're wrong for whatever reason you know that's wrong. But how do you have a conversation with anyway them anyway to come back to the whole goal of the lesson, which is become the person people come to when they have questions about weird things, right? So we're trying to be able to have these conversations with them so that, yes, I know Tony the Tiger's nose was not black, but really, you know, let's find a commonality. Let's be able to have conversations respectfully without arguing with them about Captain Crunch and, and all that stuff. But there's a lot of different examples. So you can try this at home and, and look at these kinds of things. There's a lot of fun. There. So I want to talk really quick about what we're going to do next week. For the next week. I know Karen can't move in. I can't, and I want to be here. I'm thinking of abandoning my volunteers once oh. I get them going, coming here, and then going back. But I, I can't really How do that. How far away they be? At the United Farm Worker Hall. Oh, I need to Yeah. That's not that far. I'm going to be in Quebec. But I'm French. supposed to be there, so I won't do in it. French. In French. I could try Spanish, but I don't know about How French. is your French, right? Come on. Whatever that means. I don't no, know. Like, you could have just made up a word. <laughs> okay, so the, here's the one that I'm going to do next week. So this is going to be kind of pulling the last two together, and we're going to talk about pre funking And then we're not using Wikipedia. We're not using all the stuff that you guys expect me to use, right? We're going to come up with the, we're going to talk about luck. L U C K. So that's our experiment. They're magically delicious. <laughs> Not lucky charm. But we're <laughs> going to talk about Richard Weitzman and um, a friend of ours uh, who has a website. You might want to check this out. I'll, I haven't put this up on the website yet, what we're going to do, but it's Quirkology. Quirkology. And he has a series of videos on YouTube that will blow your mind. He's a magician. He's British, so he's got that accent. Well, actually, <laughs> Scottish, which has got an even better accent. So... Um, so I'm going to put that up. You can check Rich. out. You can, you can, I'm sorry, Richard, if you're listening to this, I meant to say Scottish first. Okay. I listen to Edinburgh Castle. Um, my point is we're going to talk about luck because I think this is another example of how we can have conversations with people about things that are non-threatening that they have a, an opinion on and how they feel about, um, you know, coming up again, coming up with words that you can have a good conversation with them. So like, imagine your friend is um, is on that magic thinking scale, right? They're out there in the, who knows, with the quantum whatevers. But you want to say, I'm going to, my mission for 2023 is to have some good quality <laughs> conversation with my friend or my coworker or my sister or whatever. Start off with something like this. I think I think luck will be a fun one because what you're doing is you're pre-bunking. You are introducing the subject, however you want. You say, I saw a video, I read this book, a friend of mine was talking about this, I saw something, whatever. And then try to get your friend to, to uh, use the lessons hopefully we're going to do next week about how to have that conversation about luck because we all have some thoughts on luck, right? How many people here would say they're lucky? 
sometimes. sometimes. Would you say in general, you're a lucky person? Depending on the definition, sure. <laughs> So that's what we're going to talk about in retrospect. Is the idea of luck, what, what, you know, how is it, you know, not necessarily how it's defined so much, but how people decide that they're lucky or they're unlucky. And it's a really interesting phenomenon. And I think if you can have these kind of conversations with people, I think, I think you'll have better conversations with people. And then you will become the person who co they come to whenever you have, they have weird. I thought words. you were going to say you'll become lucky. <laughs> you yeah, well, lucky. So, you're weird. So <laughs> next week we're are you, are you gonna tell people how to get lucky? No. <laughs> <laughs> I could. So that, that would be a lecture you, you'd get a lot of people attending. <laughs> so uh so that's the idea is to talk about that next week. So I haven't put up the lesson plan right. next week, but so this will be this is we'll end our series. I'm sorry, Jay and Karen, you cannot make it, but Oh, I'm planning on doing these lectures, if possible, other places, and also maybe having, um, I'd like to do Santa Cruz, Bay Area. Well, Jane knows how to do it now. He's, yeah, you understand how it does. I, I'm done. So anyway, so we're going to go over to Michael's. Is that all right? Yeah. You're going to come I'm with down for Mexican Aww. Aww. baby. How old is your baby? 16 months. Oh, congratulations. Well, we're going to go over to Michael's. And I know Jay loves that apple, right? So I think it'll be fun. All right. Good. Thank you guys for joining me. Good. Thanks for having us. Okay, yeah. Can we take a couple steps down because they want us out of here? Uh, great, grab, great space. grab the lesson. Oh, oh yeah. Let me turn this off, Karen. Um, we, oh, here we go. Thank you so much powers. for uh, uh, you can find more about uh, things like this on um, moderncountyskeptics.org, which is our website that I've got all your lessons up on. Mm -hmm. Mark, your computer is right you here. Should you should magazines or anything like that. Oh, oh, good. All right. Good. You're there good you to go. go. Right there. Yeah. I, I hope should. you enjoyed yourself, Darren. And we didn't I did. You off. Yes. This is good. Thank it you. Was, I hope it was what you wanted and more. Likewise. Adult yeah. conversation. Yeah. Or, does it even remind you of Sterling? A little bit. Yeah, it's weird. All right, and we will stop the recording until next week. Oh, yeah. Woo! I'll turn the light.